Today we're having a competition for the Junior ROTC High School. Uh, they're coming from throughout the state. We have schools from Yuma, Tucson, Sierra Vista, and uh, local schools also that are meeting here. We have a total of 11 schools that are competing here today. Uh, these kids are the future of, of our nation. Uh, they're the future leaders. And this is a good, good way to express their, their leadership skills through these competitions. It, it started off as, as a Latino festival downtown, uh, and then it just progressed to where we started sponsoring it. Uh, from there, we just this is our third year doing it, uh, and the competition is getting bigger each year. We started off with a small group of schools coming in, and now I think we're up to 11 or 12 schools that are competing uh, for the Junior ROTC. There's unarmed exhibition, armed arm exhibition, so we're just spinning rifles and then unarmed doing their own thing. Then we're taking the, the little civics test to see who can be the best school. I want to go into the Army branch because my ASO score is high enough and I like to do the things my, my grandpa did. My grandpa, who's Hispanic, he was in Vietnam and he was a recon sniper. A recon sniper is basically you scout the front lines, see for enemies where they are, and then where to attack from. Sir, Rarewell High School, Army, JROTC, Armed Drill Team. Question for Mr. Exeter, Joe Pat, sir. What makes them special is each individual. Uh, the individuals and, and each school is different. Uh, they have their own leaders, uh, adult leaders that are uh, training these kids in the leadership skills that they are required to have. Uh, we have Air Force, ROTC, Army, uh, Marine Corps. The, the different uh, branches are represented in the ROTC. So when these kids get done with their ROTC program, they, they may go into active duty. Um, so people from Corona came to my school and they were like, ROTC is an option, like it's pretty cool, you should do it. So then I came home, I told my mom, I was like, I, I want to do it. And so she said, okay. She came home wanting to do ROTC for many reasons. And one of them was the opportunities that it was going to give her as a college student. Um, it gives her a lot of structure, it's extremely positive. It has gotten her to do things that she's never wanted to do before. I just want to thank all our sponsors that provided the funds for so these to where these kids didn't have to pay uh, for the entry fees, for the trophies that they're going to be getting later on today. Uh, I want to thank the executive board uh, of the American Legion here, uh, all my staff. Uh, I want to say thank you to them and all these volunteers that are helping out today. I just want to say thank you to all of them.